Hi everyone, uh, we are discussing Unit 2 of SPEE Grade 10. So in this chapter we will be discussing about demography, populations and, and management. Uh, I have uh, made this video for revision purposes, so take it in that way. Uh, demography in the simple words, it's the scientific study of human population. Uh, it deals, uh, it basically deals with size, structure, distribution and a change of population but simply we can say the scientific study of human population is demography this word demography is derived from the greek words demons and graphian demons means people and graphian means to study and john ground he has initiated the study of demography based on his work or he has published one book called natural and political observations made upon the bills of morality in 1662 ad therefore john ground is considered as the father of demography so father of demography is john ground similarly this word demography was first coined by Achille Guillard in his book comparative demography that was published in 1855 ad and uh, the word was first coined by Achille Willard in 1855 AD. Remember these things for a very short question in C examination or MCQ for online examination. Now comes population. The word population means the total number of people living at a particular place at a particular time. That is called population. You have been reading this. Um, and uh, we can also define this population, this word population as the collectively organized group of people. Now, Demography can further further divide it into uh, three uh, parts. We can say uh, so they are components, process, and uh, measures. So at first, components. Uh, demography. Uh, the components of demography are birth, death, and migration. Whereas uh, this component deals with number uh, and uh, process. The process of demography are fertility, mortality, and migration. Fertility is the process of the component birth. Mortality is the pro process of death and migration itself. Migration and measures, demography measures. These measures are deal, uh, deals with various kinds of calculations. So we calculate different types of rates. So there are uh, different rates like we measure birth by... Uh, Calculating fertility rate under that we read about crude birth rate gender fertility rate and age specific fertility rate whereas um, we read about mortality rate and under it under this we read about crude death rate age specific death rate and infant mortality rate and uh, in migration rate we will discuss about in migration rate out migration rate net migration rate and gross migration rate so we'll be discussing about them in detail and the formulas and uh, numericals are important for examination as well so let us go with population density the total number of people living per unit square kilometer of area is called population density and its uh, formula is we can calculate population density by dividing the total population by total area and its unit is uh, dot, 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 people per square uh, kilometer and there are various factors that affects density of uh, population like facilities climate, swell, employment opportunities, urbanization, health and education facilities. These are the factors that affect population density. And uh, yeah, it's obvious that wherever there are more facilities, where people get um, uh, gets employment opportunities, where the land is fertile, where the uh, temperature is suitable, people uh, likes to live in that places and hence their population density is more. Uh, now comes mid-year population. So mid-year population indicates the population of mid of the year, middle of the year. And we can calculate mid-year population by um, adding the population of January 1st and population of December uh, last or December 30 and divided by 2. We can calculate this mid-year population. This is the formula to calculate mid-year population. And basically population of July 1st is considered as the mid-year population. All right, so let us discuss about fertility and fecundity. It relates with uh, uh, fertility measures. Uh, fertility, it, it is the actual birth performance of a woman during uh, her reproductive period. So reproductive period means uh, uh, it is considered as 15 to 49 years um, of a female. Uh, they, they are the group of 15 to 49 years uh, of female are considered as reproductive uh, group. 
and fertile uh, group also so actual birth performance of a female is fertility whereas the biological capacity to give birth that is called fecundity and fecundity means it's the capacity to give birth so it's related with both male and female and fertility it's the actual number of birth performance so it's related with female or group of uh, female or woman and fertility starts uh, just after sexual intercourse uh, because sexual intercourse or uh, diffusion of gametes male and female gamete is uh, necessary for fertility and uh, this fecundity is the biological capacity to give birth and it begins with menarche or puberty or uh, when uh, menarche means the first menstruation in girls uh, it starts with, with that and in boys it starts with puberty and uh, fertility can be expressed in number as in the definition it is the actual birth performance of woman whereas fecundity it cannot be explained in a number that's the capacity we cannot measure that similarly uh, fertility directly increases uh, population or directly change the population and uh, fecundity it directly does not change the population uh, directly and all fertile women are fecund so fecundity is the capacity so if they have got that capacity so and uh, fertility means uh, a fertile woman means obviously she has got fecundity but a woman who is fecund may not be fertile she might have got the uh, capacity to give birth but she may not have uh, given birth so uh, it doesn't uh, sorry all fecund women may not fertile and this table fertility and fecundity differences is uh, very much important you go through this all right uh, and let us uh, discuss about fertility measures in fertility measures we will be discussing about crude birth rate general fertility rate and age specific fertility rate so here is the formula you can see here uh, let me go with this one here so crude birth rate uh, in rough yes and that's the rough calculation uh, because it's, it's the rough calculation in that sense we can uh, say it because uh, here the total media population is taken so it's calculated by using formula total number of live birth it's not live birth okay it's live birth in a uh, year upon total media population of the same year of a specific place we just ignore that and multiply by thousand and we just write its unit like dot 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 per thousand so this uh, crude birth rate uh, it is most easily computed and easily understood measure of fertility only the data of total live births and total media population are required here and it simply helps to analyze the trend of fertility level for different time period these are uh, the some of the advantage of crude birth rate whereas it has got some disadvantage as well so it's merely a crude measurement of fertility uh, it is not effective to compare the fertility levels between the countries or region and it is highly affected by age sex composition of population so it's not so much reliable now so uh, we have got general fertility rate so general fertility rate in this general fertility rate what uh, how it differs with uh, crude birth rate is that general fertility rate is the total number of live births per thousand media woman population of reproductive period yes so its formula is total number of live birth in a place in a year that is represented by b and upon total media female population of reproductive age age group of same place of same year we can say that but uh, simply we can write it p of 15 to 49 multiply by 1000 so the difference between cbr and gfr is that in denominator in cbr we just take the media population whereas in general fertility rate in the denominator we just take media female population of fertile age group or reproductive age group this is the difference so general fertility rate is far uh, better measurement of uh, fertility than this uh, crude birth rate now let us discuss about age specific fertility rate so age specific fertility rate is the total number of live births for thousand media female population of a specific age group of reproductive age yes so this uh, age group 15 to 49 we have divided uh, this uh, 15 to 49 uh, fertile age group of female are divided further divided into uh, seven groups uh, making uh, the differences of five years gap and we will be discussing about that here uh, in the, uh, this uh, question 
So among CBR, GF, and ASFR, which measure of fertility is more refined, more effective, and why? So in the third paragraph, you can see the reproductive age group of female, 15 to 49, is further divided into seven age groups in ASFR, making five-year difference. So 15 to 19, 20 to 24, 25 to 29, 30 to 34, 35 to 39, 40 to 44, 45 to 49. So in this way, seven groups are there. So this age-specific fertility rate, this is... Uh, best among CVR and GFR. Although GFR is more refined than CVR, age-specific fertility rate is more refined than GFR because here we can calculate the the fertility of each a, each age group of female among these seven age group, isn't it? So. Uh, what you have to understand here is that uh, the more fertile age group is 20 to 24 and the, the second fertile age group is 25 to 29. Uh, these are the most fertile age group. And uh, yes, so among these three, GFR is more refined than CBR because uh, in denominator, CBR has got media population. In GFR, the denominator has got uh, total media female population of reproductive age. And when we talk about age specific fertility rate it is best among us the best it is best because we take uh, we can calculate the fertility uh, rate of each age group uh, which has been uh, each is uh, reproductive age group which has been divided further into seven uh, different age groups so this is what and uh, here is the differences between GFR and ASFR as well. It's uh, mentioned here. You can go through this. You can pause the video and go through this. And at last, um, GFR equals to uh, there is nothing written over there. Uh, we have to write the formula into thousand. You have to. You will understand this easily, isn't it? So uh, with this discussion, I hope you understand this. Pause the video and you just read about GFR and ASFR. Okay. So uh, let me go with uh, now let me go with uh, yes total fertility rate so total fertility rate is the average number of births to a woman throughout her reproductive period so how much uh, birth so how many birth the woman has given uh, in her entire reproductive period that is called total fertility rate and it is calculated by using the formula five times as uh, summation asfr upon thousand and its unit is dot dot children per woman so now uh, let us discuss about mortality rate mortality measures so crude death rate uh, and it is calculated i will be discussing directly about formula so total number of death upon total media population in 2000 gives crude death rate and age specific death rate so here we have not uh, mentioned the um, standard or uh, there is no specified um, age group here but uh, we can take um, according to our uh, uh, comfort and we can calculate that but uh, the total number of death of a specific age group that is called uh, dx upon total media population of same age group that is called px into thousand so the age group must be same in the numerator and the denominator while taking the media population we have to take the same age group that is what we do in asdr so infant mortality rate imr don't get confused in in migration rate also imr infant mortality rate also imr so uh, it might get confused but we'll be using this uh, imr uh, as a short form of infant mortality rate so infant mortality rate is the total number of death of infant before reaching one year of age divided by total number of live birth in the same year multiplied by thousand so keep one thing in your mind till now in the denominator we have kept media population isn't it so here we are keeping total number of live birth in a year and this is very much important and this um, the formula of imr has been asked in c examination many times uh, before uh, we can say in slc also many times this is most important you just uh, remember this and its unit is dot 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 per thousand live births so we can calculate in that way similarly there is maternal mortality rate maternal mortality rate means uh, it is calculated by using this formula and uh, this will also clarify you total number of death of woman due to pregnancy related cases hey pregnancy related cases in a year divided by the total number of live birth during the same year multiplied by one lakh now till now we have discussed only uh, multiply by thousand isn't it so here it's multiplied by one lakh it's the unique so maternal mortality rate is measured per th per one lakh live birth Similarly, there is child mortality rate. Students, remember one thing. We treat uh, infants uh, 
or we treat the uh, child below one year, zero to uh, up to 12 months as infant and um, from uh, one year up to four years as child. Okay, so number of death of children of age one to four, above one year, below, four, uh, below five year and uh, divided by total number of live, uh, total number of uh, live children of the uh, same year and age so that means one to four year age group and multiply by thousand gives child mortality rate so this is what about uh, infant uh, uh, that uh, fertility measures and mortality measures so discussing about migration measurement uh, let us uh, go uh, through the terms related to migration so in migration can be further divided into two parts uh, two categories uh, two types we can say internal and international internal means within the same country migration within the country and international means uh, crossing the uh, national boundaries of the country if that migration is uh, taking place like that then that is the international migration internal migration again can be divided into in migration and out migration in migration means uh, for example uh, coming uh, uh, Coming, so coming to Pokhara from uh, Mustang, we can say that is the in migration for Pokhara, and out out migration means outgoing. So going to Kathmandu from Pokhara, so uh, for Pokhara that is out migration. So in the previous example for Mustang uh, we have done out migration for Pokhara we have done in migration. So in case of um, international migration it can be divided into two parts: immigration and immigration. Immigration means coming to uh, coming to nepal from um, other countries we can say they are immigrants and immigration means going to uh, other different countries from nepal so here just um, focus on the letters immigration starts with i so i means in so uh, entering that country you just remember so uh, here uh, in immigration there is e so exit exit from the country indicates uh, immigration so it's your own style to remember uh, so however i have told you this you can remember this technique also so we can calculate migration rate by using these formulas so in migration rate imr can be calculated by i upon p into thousand out migration rate can be calculated by o upon p into thousand gross migration rate is calculated as i plus o upon p into thousand and net migration rate is calculated by i minus o upon p into thousand so this i indicates in migration total number of in migrants to a place o represents total number of out migrants from a place in a year and p represents the media population and my dear students this uh, migration measurement is uh, also really important uh, this sort of problems related to migration has also been asked in c examination many times so here the word gross migration and net migration i found most of the students they are, they have got confusion on gross and net migration they uh, forget where to use plus and where to use minus so i have got a simple trick in net migration just you see yon starts with yon indicates negative isn't it so there is a negative sign see and gross gross means whenever we add up we said grand total or um, in gross means uh, yes in grand total we can say in that way so in grand total we always add so you can remember these two key points so n represents negative so it's i minus o upon p okay that's your own style to remember okay there are other major um, other major measures also uh, to measure fertility uh, sorry to measure uh, demographic components so there is one uh, measurement we called it as rate of natural increase so rni it is its short form is rni if the population is increased due to the difference of birth rate and death rate without regarding migration it is called rate of natural increase all right so in rate of natural increase there is no involvement of migration but other these natural factors birth and death they are the natural factor migration is the um, artificial factor that changes the population it is not used in rate of natural increase and there are three different formulas to use uh, to calculate RNI and uh, in examination also the, this sort of question has been asked many times so the first formula is b minus d upon p into thousand and the unit is dot 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 per thousand so here if in the question uh, total number of birth and total number of death and media population is given then uh, b means b indicates total number of birth d indicates total number of death and p in indicates media population so if these three things are given you use the first formula all right so for second formula cbr minus cdr simply so 
uh, if in the question uh, crude birth rate and crude death rate as may death rate are given then you can directly use this formula to calculate the rate of natural increase but you can use this also and this is a uh, the second one is also measured in per thousand but if you like to calculate that in percentage then you just uh, divide okay we can do like this uh, cbr minus cdr upon 1000 multiplied by 100 so it's already measured in per thousand in second point isn't it that's why we divide that by thousand and multiply by 100 so we convert that into percentage if we just cancel out the zeros we get rni equals to cbr minus cdr upon 10 and that is dot 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 percentage but students we usually measure rni in percentage so i strongly recommend you to use formula number three for uh, examination purpose if nothing is mentioned over there now comes population growth rate it's pgr pgr uh, shows either the population of the country is increasing or decreasing and we can find it easily if pgr is positive then we can say that population is increasing and if pgr is negative then we can say the population is decreasing so here is the formula to calculate population growth rate population growth rate equals to crude birth rate minus crude death rate plus minus net migration upon 10 and its unit is dot 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 percentage so students many of the students get confused with this plus minus net migration so here what you have to do is that uh, if uh, net migration is positive in question then use you use positive side and if net migration is given negative in question you use uh, a negative one so uh, i think you are clear and the note is also given over here now population doubling time Population doubling time means the number of years required for the population of a place to double its size with reference to the current rate of population growth rate is called population doubling time. So it's just the projection uh, uh, regarding uh, the taking the current population growth rate and projecting. So just guessing, estimating after how many years the population gets doubled. All right. So the formula to calculate population growth rate uh, population doubling time is 70 upon pgr uh, and its unit is dot 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 years so population growth rate of nepal in 2068 bs was 1.35 percentage and uh, in that way also we can calculate so if we use that population growth rate then uh, we can uh, estimate that the population of nepal will get doubled after 57.85 years nearly 58 years now comes sex ratio sex ratio means the number of male per 100 female is called sex ratio sex ratio can be calculated by using the formula total male population upon total female population into 100 and it is calculated its unit is dot 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 male per 100 female or percentage so uh, i want to give you one example if it is said that okay sex ratio of nepal is 94 what do you understand by that so we can say there are 94 male per 100 female we can say that so if sex ratio is 105 then we can say there are 105 male per 100 females so uh, in that way you can understand that now comes dependency ratio dependent population means those population those people who depend upon others for their basic requirements so uh, they are called dependent population they, they are there are two dependent population one is child dependent population and another is old dependent population child dependent population means 0 to 14 years of age group they lies in child dependent population whereas 60 years and above 60 years they are considered as old dependent population in nepal so active population or workforce means 15 to 59 years the age group between 15 to 59 years are considered as active population or workforce because they can earn their living and in fact they support the dependent population as well so dependency ratio can be calculated as dependent population upon active population in 2000 so dependent population means population uh, from 0 to 14 plus 60 and above upon active population means population is uh, of age group 15 to 59 it's always calculated on percentage so here is the formula to calculate child dependency ratio old dependency ratio and active dependency ratio you can see yourself over there uh, so uh, it's 59 per thousand like that so uh, i hope you have understood up to this uh, here is uh, in printed form also but here the open sign is not so much clear that's why i use that notes you can go through this yes so it's over here we have done up to uh, yes uh, these formulas we have gone up to this so one numerical is important uh, it's surely asked in examination also so you have to prepare in that way 
All right.